Good morning, Forrest. I'm Daniel. And I'm Emma Beth. And today's day is Thursday, November 21st, and on today's show, we have all your Wildcat news and sports. Here at Forrest, our teachers and faculty encourage students to get involved with the community. Students, you may check out up to five books in the library for Thanksgiving break. Be sure to have something to read for when you have some downtime. Speaking of reading, any students on the book bowl team or who are interested in being on the book bowl team, there is a meeting tomorrow during CAT in the library conference room. Those who are interested need to pick up a pass from the library. Today is Small Club Picture Day. That's right. Meet in front of the auditorium for your picture. Hey, Emma Beth, are you a member of ATCS? Yes, I am. And today, ATCS members will be handing out anti-smoking to bring awareness to the Great American Smoke Out. National Honor Society has extended its acceptance of applications for qualified sophomores, juniors, and seniors until December 3rd. The application is online and can be found on Mr. Crawford's website. Please see him in room B247 if you have any questions. Blackout t-shirts from Friday's pep rally and Forest Fights On shirts are still available in activities for $10. See Mrs. Miller for more information. The girls weightlifting team is looking for volunteers to judge their meet on December 18th. You can earn service hours as well. Track and field conditioning started this week. All paperwork must be turned in prior to starting. Please see Coach Shelk in the front office for more information. Speaking of sports, let's start over to basketball with Raylan and to Reagan with all of our sports going on now. The Forest Boys basketball team has been putting in a lot of hard work in order to be ready for their first game and prepare for the upcoming season. Uh, we've just been working hard every day, getting the fundamentals down, like the basics, and we've been doing a lot of shots. We've been getting up in the morning and working out, and we've just been trying to get in condition. All the work that the team has been putting in is all to reach one common goal. We've talked about it all preseason. We've talked about it all offseason. Our only goal is to make the playoffs. It hasn't been done here in a few years. And uh, I, just, I just want these guys to experience the thrill of the playoffs, and hopefully we can make a run. The team is really determined to reach this goal, and they have a plan on how they're going to accomplish it. I think we make the playoffs by taking each game, game by game, and just focusing on the small things. And um, we're talented enough to where we can, we can get it done. So it's exciting. Of course the team wants to win every game, but all that really matters is how the team performs as a whole. It doesn't matter the result, of course I want to win, but I just want to see us playing the right way. You know, playing hard every possession, taking no possessions off, uh, making sure that, that we're playing our brand, the style that, that we practice every single day. And if we can do that, and if we can win, it'll be a success. Make sure to come out and support our Forest Boys basketball team as they kick off their season tonight at 7 against Bellevue. This has been Raylan reporting for WCAT. What's up Wildcats? I'm Reagan with all your sports news for today. Last Monday, our girls soccer team had a hard fought game against the Villages. Let's take a closer look with Cole. Go Joes! Nice, nice, go! Good morning, Cats. I'm here at the home of the Buffalo, where unfortunately our girls' soccer team just took a loss. It kind of showed that we didn't really work together as much as we normally do. We kind of like fell apart towards the end, but we just need to come back better next time. The mindset before the game was a kind of let's get together, let's win this game, like we got this. After the game, it was sort of, wow, we really need to work on working as a unit and our communication needs to be fixed. With it being this early in the season and the second loss in a row, our girls are still trying to come together as a unit. So we just need to work together on communicating and working as like a group instead of individually. In practice, we need to improve on attacking from the middle and working throughout the middle because that's where we're falling and that's where we're losing the ball. So we just got to work on moving moving it through the middle. And working as a unit, we're all playing as individual players and we need to come together as the 11 on the field that we are. Make sure to come out and support your girls as they move on as a team and march on through the rest of their season. Reporting for WCAT, this has been Cole Ed. Now back to the Yankers. Last night, our girls weightlifting team won against Westport 60 to 24. There will be a boys soccer game against Eastside tonight at home. And there's also a boys basketball game against North Marion tonight at home. And Friday, there will be a girls' basketball game against Bellevue at Bellevue. That's all the sports news we have for you today. Now back to your anchors. 
That's all in the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Once again, I'm Daniel. And I'm Umba Beth. Have a great day, Forrest, and like always, Go Cats!